So in this video, we're going to solve the 2005 FRQ. We have dy over dx equals negative 2x over y. So we're going to start off with negative 1, 1. When you do that, you're going to get 2 over 1, so your slope is 2. So this is x, this is y, this is m, 2. If you plug in negative 1, 2, you're going to get negative 2 over 2, which is 1. 1, 1, 1, 1. So 1 should look about like this. The good thing is, for all the x equals 0, slope is going to be 0, with the exception of over here at the origin. Can y equaling 0 because it's undefined. Okay, so continuing this, we have negative 1, negative 1, which would be 2 over negative 1, which would be negative 2. And this one should be negative 1. This one will be let's think about this we have one comma negative one so negative two over negative one it's going to be positive two this is going to be one this is going to be negative two and negative one okay so next part of the question says uh write the tangent line at one comma negative one and it gives us and approximate 1.1 so part b <clears throat> we need to find our slope we have one comma negative one so dy over dx equals negative two times one over negative one which equals two i'm going to change colors so we can see it So now we're going to write our equation y plus 1 equals 2 times x minus 1. So now we're going to get y equals 2x minus 2 minus 1. y equals 2x minus 3. So y of 1.1 1 .1 is going to equal 2x minus 3. we got to plug in the 1.1 here. So we're going to get negative 0.8. Okay, last part of the question says write the equation with the given conditions. So now we have dy over dx equals negative 2x over y. We're going to separate the variables. So dy y dy equals negative 2x dx. We're going to integrate. So now we're going to get y squared over 2 equals negative x squared plus c. Now we're going to plug in the negative 1, 1 comma negative 1. So now we're going to get 1 half equals negative 1 plus c. c equals 3 halves. So now our equation is going to be y squared over 2 equals negative x squared plus 3 halves. Now you have to multiply everything by 2. Let me just move my canvas. So when you do this, when you multiply everything by 2, you're going to get y squared equals negative 2x squared plus 3. Now root it, and now you're going to get the root of this. And the last thing that you have to do is make sure you don't have domain or range issues. The domain looks pretty good with the exception of 0, 0. Uh, but that's not a domain issue. That's a range issue all y. So if you have 
negative one one your graph will probably look something like this so since it's a square root it's going to be a negative portion and this has to be your equation because the root of four is two or negative two so in this case you're graphing the negative portion i hope this helps